in this little video, we're going to look at some questions from past grade 9 exam papers dealing with exponential equations. And I really suggest that you get a pen and a piece of paper and work these alongside me. I'll pause at each step for you to try and get the step first. This will give you a really good sense of whether you're on top of this and can do the kind of questions that might well appear in your exam. Here's the first question. Try and see if you can write down the first step you take in solving this exponential equation. Okay, remember with exponential equations, you want to have the same base on both sides. So I'll just rewrite 4 as 2 squared. Okay. What would be your next step? Hopefully you very easily seen saw that because you've got the same base on both sides, you can just proceed as follows. And I hope nobody has any trouble in seeing that your final answer is x is 3. OK, here's another slightly more challenging one. Give it a try and see if you can write the first line. Hopefully you immediately went and noticed that 25 is 5 squared. So that's good, but we haven't got just a plain 5 on the right. We've got 1 over 5 squared. So we need to get it so that you've got 5 to the something equals 5 to the something. So what's our next step going to be? Write it down. Hopefully that was easy. You immediately know that five, 1 over 5 squared is just the same as 5 to the negative 2. That negative in the exponent just means 1 over. And now from here it's easy, right? Next step. x plus 2 is negative 2. And then final step. It's negative 2 subtract 2, which is negative 4. is quite useful when you've solved an equation is that you can do a quick check to see if you've got the answer right. So we've got here, we've got the answer x is negative 4. We just want to check, you know, have I got this answer right? How do I check? Well, if I have got the solution to the equation correct, then if I go and substitute x is negative 4 in here and calculate this, I must get out the answer 1 over 25. So on a little, in a little corner, I can quickly go and do my check. So I can say, all right, let's check. Put in the x is negative 4, and I'm just going to deal with the left-hand side now. So negative 4 plus 2, I know negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, and that is 1 over 5 squared, and that is 1 over 25, and fantastic, that is what I needed it to come out to be. And so when I've done my check, I know that this solution over here is the correct solution to the equation, because when I substituted negative 4 in for x here, I did make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. OK, a final past exam question. See if you can write down what your first step would be here. So the important thing to notice in this one is that this x goes with the 3. It's 3 to the power of x. This 27 is not being affected by that x, right? This 27 is just a plain old number that gets multiplied with 3 to the power of x. So this 27 is just a plain old number. And remember, when we're trying to solve exponential equations, what we want to get is something to an x or an x plus 1 or an x plus 2 equal to the same thing to a number. So all we want on the left is something to the power of x or x plus 1 or, you know, whatever. 
So we want to get that 3 to the x on its own. So our first step is going to be to divide both sides of the equation by 27. So we'll get 3 to the x is 1 over 27. Right, and now it's actually very similar to the previous one we've just done. So what will be your next line? Write it down. So you get that. And then like we saw previously, we actually want to rewrite it like that. Now we're in that situation we always want for exponential equations. 3 to the power of something is equal to 3 to the power of a number, right? And so now we can just say that x is negative 3 and we're done. Again, if we want to make sure that we have got the correct answer and know that we are going to get the marks for it, we can go and do the check. And to do the check, I'm going to substitute negative 3 in place of x. And then I'm going to say, well, that's 27 over 3 cubed, which is 27 over 27, which is 1. And that is the right-hand side. So I know that my solution is correct.